Hi friends, it's me Nikki here with my simple design board quick tip. I got a lot of questions asking how do I make those design boards that I use when I'm decorating my home. I'm a visual type of person so I need to see my design kind of laid out so that I know that I'm picking the right colors, the right furnishings, the right lighting and I want a kind of visual of my overall ending look. So I want to show you how you can do that also if you're decorating any spaces in your home. Now if you've been with me a while you know I have a home projects binder and this is so helpful because because it allows me and my husband to plan out our projects instead of just kind of going on a whim. That way we don't spend more money than we should not spend, we have a plan which has really been helpful in letting us be successful with our home projects. Now, what I mean when I say design board for my new subscribers is it's basically, basically simply a page where we put all of the pieces that are going to make our space come together. So when I'm thinking of how I want to put my space together, I'm kind of shopping online, finding those things that I wanna put in the space, if it's something that's already in the space, I'll take a picture of it so that I can put it on my design board. But when you look at your design board, you want to have a feel for how your end room is going to look. And it's also great when you're shopping for items or additional items because you can take this with you so that you can kind of match things up and kind of get a feel for your space. Because if you create a design board and you're looking at it and you're really not feeling it, it really doesn't feel good to you, then that's going to tell you a little sign that maybe I'm not picking out key pieces that I need to be picking out for my room. Maybe I need to make some different changes. But in the end, you want to be able to look at this piece of paper and feel good about the project that you're going to work on. And this is also great if you're one that struggles with how to decorate my space. I just, you know, some people say, I am just not able to come up with a design or figure out what I want. Then if you create the design board, it can be kind of your working board to kind of help you get ideas to kind of see how your space is going to end up. And so this is the design board for my kitchen and it worked great because it allowed me to see the pieces before I implemented my end result. And it's so great seeing your design board come to life. And this is my finished kitchen. I have a video on it, I'll link it below. But my design board was key in me being able to get this design. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do all of your online window shopping. So what you want to do is you want to go online and look for all those pieces that you're thinking about putting in your room that you're thinking about buying for your space. Now if you're using items that you already have in the space, all you have to do is simply take a picture of those pieces in the space and save those pictures on your computer. Now for the pieces that you're planning on purchasing, all you have to do is go to the picture online and save that picture on your computer. So basically once you you have all of your pictures saved on your computer we're then ready to move into creating our design board but you it's key that you find all those pieces that you're thinking about using in the space first from your curtains from your to your decorative accessories your carpet rugs um, any furnishings anything like that save all the pictures to your computer now that we have all our pictures saved, it's time to go to canva.com. This is what I use to create the design board. I am not sponsored by them. I just love Canva. It's so simple. You don't have to be computer savvy to use it. It's very easy to use. So once you go to canva.com, you either have to log in if you've already used Canva before or sign up. If you need to sign up, click that green bar there that says sign up, but you have to enter your email address, enter your password, or rather create a password, and then click the sign up button. Then from that point, it's going to ask you, what are you using Canva for? Is it work, personal, or education? You can click the center circle that's in green right there that says personal. Just click that, and it's going to then take you into Canva. Now the thing that you will see happen now is it's going to try to take you through a little tutorial. It only takes about 15 to 20 seconds and as you can see Canva is just kind of running this tutorial here. So kind of introducing you to Canva. Just watch it. It doesn't take that long. It's just showing you how you basically you know add things and drop things in like they're adding this lion onto the board. So just watch that. It only takes not long like I said and then it's going to allow you to go into Canva. Now it is going to say now it's your turn to let you kind of practice it, but we're not going to do that. So just click Canva in the top left hand corner, the little word Canva, and then that's just going to bring us where we want to be to start creating our design board. Now the template that we're going to choose is presentation. It's the second one there. So click on presentation and you'll see they have different ones, but just click the second one presentation right here. And once you click on presentation, it's going to take you into your whiteboard there. So now we're ready to get started. 
Now what we need to do is get all of those pictures that we saved on our computer from window shopping and get them into Canva so that we can create and put them on our board. Click the upload button right here on this tab and then this bar will come up that is green that says upload your photos. Click on that and it's going to take you to your computer so that you can find where you have your, your picture saved and then click the button to choose and it's going to start start uploading your picture. You have to do this for each individual picture, but now that they're all up here in Canva, you can easily just slide them over to your whiteboard, resize them by just pulling the sides and creating your board. So now that all my pictures are in here, and of course Canva keeps your pictures, so if you get out of this program and come back, once you log in, all this stuff is still here. And I'm creating my board now. So I'm putting all of those key items that I want to put in my space on this board so that it will give me a visual of, is this going to look nice? Is this how I want my space to look? If you're creating your design board and it's not looking right to you or the colors are not coordinating, then that's when you need to play around with it and choose a different chair, choose a different rug. In the end, when you look at your design board, you need to feel really good about it and it needs to feel, give you the feeling of how you want your space to be. Click the text tab to add text to your design board. This is helpful because you may want to add text to say, where did you get that lamp? You can put Pier 1, the item number. You can put all that information um, above the item on your design board so that when you're shopping, you have it right there. Or when you're going to purchase the items, all the information is right there. So that can be very helpful too. And I've done that before also. Or if you want to put a title on your design board to say kitchen design or whatever it is, you can do that. You can change the font. You can change the font size you can change the color so that's just something else that you can add to your design board now what it is is we want to name it so you click up the top here and then you just create a name for your design board say living room design or whatever it is the space that you're doing and then from that point you want to download so click the download button the second one there is for a high quality image and it's going to download it onto your computer that way you have your project completed and done there and you're able to print it save it whatever you want to do with it but if you ever want to get back to your design just log back into Canva they're not going to get rid of it they save it so you can make changes to it do whatever you need to do so it works out great so I hope you found this simple. I hope you will kind of use this when you're doing your designs because I have done it for years and it's worked so great for me. I mean, it really helps me save money on not making those design errors by just kind of running out purchasing different items. So I hope that I really um, explained it well. I also just posted my 2016 planner setup video. I hope you will check that out. I loved sharing that with you and I'll put a link in the description box below. So definitely go check it out. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this video. I loved sharing with you. I hope you all are doing great. I'll see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.